Hey there, it's Forest Nui Cobalt. Just wanted to make a quick statement about the upcoming new moon in Leo. Um, many of you may know that the new moon in Leo will be happening on Wednesday, July 31st of 2019. Um, and it will also be partially eclipsed. Now, there are some practitioners who believe that an eclipse um, turns the energy of the new moon on a less beneficial note, um, kind of on its ear. And there are others who believe that an eclipse has an amplifying effect uh, on the moon's energy when you're doing magical practice. Um, I fall into the later camp, so I definitely plan on doing my own magic during the uh, eclipsed new moon in Leo this coming Wednesday. Um, but for any new moon magical practice, I feel like it's a particularly potent time, a, a particularly energetic time, partly because the same action that we take when we bury something or bring something to its conclusion is the action that we take when we sow a seed or plant something either a burial or a sowing of a seed, it's the same action. And uh, it's, it's similar to what's symbolized by the Ouroboros, the snake biting its tail, the beginning and the end. Um, and so it allows you to recognize as you're doing your magic for whatever reset, restart, or new beginning that you may be petitioning for, um, that this is going to bring something to an end so that the new condition that you are ushering in with your magical practice has space to live in. It's like emptying a vessel before you fill it back up again, cleaning it out before you pour the new stuff in. For Leo in particular, since that's the sign that this new moon will be in, uh, Leo is an excellent sign for doing work that has to do with your own personal star quality, putting yourself at center stage in the spotlight, whether that's amplifying your natural charisma if you're an actor or a public speaker, whether that is um, putting a bit of more of a shine on uh, the way that you present yourself to people, the first impressions that you make. Um, it's also about creativity, authentic self-expression, and allowing your identity to be luminous and present and very, very visible. There are a lot of us who have a hard time feeling visible in the world. Um, as I make this video that I plan on letting you see later, my voice is shaking because I'm nervous. And that's not uncommon. Many of us feel very nervous about putting ourselves out there. And um, so what you can do during a Leo new moon is perhaps choose to sow seeds that will grow into a greater sense of self-confidence and putting yourself in a very visible, very flattering light and allowing your star quality to be absolutely out there, unabashedly, unashamed, and unafraid. So that's one suggestion for your magical practice in the upcoming new moon in Leo. Have a great one, you guys.